Hello, welcome to the David Wong, another amazing Qi Energy webinar, transformational webinar. Today, there's a lot of exciting things I'm gonna to release to, to you. You're gonna learn how to attract abundance with meditation technology. I'm gonna show you how to protect yourself from darkness. I'm gonna show you how to overcome your fear and your doubt. And a simple process that I have proven myself like what I use to create massive transformation in your life, to attract abundance, to get to where you want to go, to become your fullest potential. So who here wants to be able to manifest things in their life? Say I. Raise your hand, click the button, or say I. And welcome everyone to our webinar. Welcome Timothy, Vera, uh, Deborah, there's so many names here, Rachel, Steve, Amor, Lonnie, Andres, and let's see, they keep coming in. Bezo, Galaxy Note 9, welcome. Joyce Foley, uh, the phone number here, 330. Alberto, Alex, Anne, Badiri, Bridget, Carlos, Carmel, Chris, Christos, David, Dora, Feliz, Galaxy J7, Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy Tab A, Jean, Joyce, Catherine, Larry, Linda, Mauricio, Mildred, Min, Norris, Rebecca, Rock, Ronnie, Steve, Teresa, Tony, Vero, William, you are in Zen, A to Z. I think more people came in since I started the list. So if I miss you, don't worry. Uh, I hear you, I see you there, okay? So if you're new to this webinar, if you have a question, you have something to say, you just put it in the chat box and then by the end of the webinar, I'm gonna to get to those questions at the end. And today, once again, uh, the lovely uh, Carmel stays here to help me out. Say hi, Carmel. Mute. There we go. Hey guys, nice to see everyone again or be with everyone again. All right, so back to a webinar. Today we're going to do, as usual, our meditation practice. So this is a class as well as a webinar at the same time. So if you're at home, find a comfortable place. You can be seated, you can be standing, you can be lying down. And today we're going to um, do some meditation. And at the end of the webinar, I'm going to release to you a new frequency for free and you'll be one of the first people to get this free mystery frequency. So if you stay until the end of this webinar, I'm going to give you the direct link to this at the end and I'll explain to you what it is. And if you don't know who David Wong is, this is me. I'm a Qigong energy practitioner. Qigong means energy work in Chinese. It's a thousands year old practice. I'm also an inventor and developer of Qi coil and resonant wave systems, which are meditation technologies or wellness technologies. I'm also a musician, a composer, and martial artist and meditator. And Carmel here with us, she's a holistic energy healing practitioner. She's also a business development specialist, a self-published author, e-commerce expert. She's also a mentor, a coach, and our distributor and franchise coordinator. She's also our technology consultant. So if you have any questions about our technology, about products, feel free to give her a call or give her a message. Okay, so today, Let's start with our manifesting meditation. And it's pretty simple. It starts with Qi energy activation or centering. If you were here last week, we did the balancing and centering meditation. And I think a lot of you um, did that. Who, who did their homework? Who was here last week and did their homework and practiced? Then hopefully you practiced. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna start with the Qi energy and centering activation meditation. Then we're gonna do a, um, a stationary or, a, or a internal meditation to help you to manifest things. So who wants to be able to manifest things into reality? For example, you have an idea or you have something that you want or something that you are missing or something that you missed or something that you have a dream of becoming or a dream of having. Who, who has something like that? Raise your hand. Okay, great. So what if I was able to help you get that or get there or become that faster. How would you like that? Who would like to learn how to do that? Get there faster. Get that thing that you want. Become that thing that you want faster. Great, so everybody wants to do that. So let's start with Qi energy activation. So if you're sitting, just stand up straight or sit up straight. Make sure your neck is nice and long. You want to have a long neck. Imagine that your head is suspended in the air and the rest of your body is just dangling like, a, like, like one of those um, puppets, right? You have a string on the top of your head and then all your other 
limbs and your ligaments are just hanging from the top of your head. Okay? Now stand up straight, your feet pretty close together, and then just suspend yourself from the head and then drop the rest of your body, bend your knees a little bit. So from the side, I'm gonna stand straight up, as straight as possible, then relax the whole body from the neck down and just drop a little bit, drop about an inch or two. So your knees are slightly bent, your arms are dangling from the side, your shoulders are relaxed, but then you can see that my spine is fairly straight. So if, try not to bend over, try not to stick out your belly. So you wanna stand nice and straight. If you're from the front, you don't wanna be leaning on one side or leaning on the other side. Feel your feet and feel that there's an equal amount of pressure on your feet so that you're not leaning on one side of your body or the other. So once you're in this position, put your hands on your belly button. So feel your belly button and then feel the middle of your palms here on both sides, right in the middle. And then you wanna put that middle of the palm right over your belly button, your left hand first if you're a guy. If you're a female, then put your right hand first. So I'm a guy, I'm gonna let my left hand first and then my right hand, I'm gonna lock my thumbs together like this. So both of my hands are right on top of my belly button. If you're, if you're a female, put your right hand first and then your left hand on top, lock your thumbs like this, okay? So why do we put our hands here, people ask? It's to help us to feel the um, focus of our awareness in that area of our body. And this area is called the Dan Tian. And in Taoist meditation or in Tai Chi or in Qigong, this is what you call the sea of Qi, or this is your Qi battery. This is your energy battery. And scientifically, if you measure all the nerves that are in your, um, in this psychic center, they call this a psychic center, uh, it has just as many nerves as your brain. So if you have that gut feeling and you feel it in your stomach, that means your brain or, or your psychic center here is thinking, is actually doing some thinking just the same way as your favorite brain. So it's also the sea of chi. So it's also the battery where you um, access chi energy. So when you put your hands on there, what happens is that you are focusing that your intention and, and feeling it because before you can activate the chi energy, you first have to be aware of it and, uh, and know where to focus it. So do this right now, cover it, cover it together, and then do some breathing, slow breathing, and just put your awareness, like try to feel that part of your body. And, it's, and the part is actually behind your belly button. So belly button is on the surface, or on the surface, but then the Dantian point is actually about an inch behind the belly button. So see if you can feel inside of your body. Just imagine there's a white ball of light behind your belly button, and then breathe in and out, and just put your awareness and consciousness there, and feel that energy there. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Now, you remember from last week and the weeks before that, whenever we're doing this breathing exercise, we want to expand our bellies when we breathe in, expand, and then when we breathe out, our belly contract. See that? So expand, contract. Expand, contract. Expand, contract. Go at your own pace. And you want to breathe nice and slowly. Nice, long, smooth breaths. So in, out. In, out. Okay, so I want you to imagine that ball of light. Imagine there's a ball of white light right inside your tummy, behind your belly button. And as you breathe in, it gets a little bit bigger. As you breathe out, it gets a little bit smaller. You breathe in, it gets a little bit bigger. Breathe out, it gets a little smaller.
So you may be starting to feel a little bit of warmth in that part of your body. If you don't, it's okay. Just keep, keep doing the exercise. At first, when I started doing this meditation, I couldn't feel anything in my stomach. But then after you do it for some time, you'll start to feel something. Because you're starting to activate that part of your body. And you start to feel and be more sensitive and more aware of what the, what the sensations are. And it could be tingling or it could be numbness or it could be electric or it could be a coolness. It could feel like there's a chill or it could be something magnetic. So whatever it is, just be aware and feel that part of your body. All right, so now let's do the activation part. So now you can spread your legs a little bit wider, about shoulder width apart. Keep your body still straight, bend your knees a little, and then bring your hands up like you're gathering a bunch of energy and then slowly bring it around and down your body. So spread your arms nice and open. Imagine you have this big ball of energy and you're like just, just guiding that energy. You wanna grab and gather all that positive energy. If you're outdoors right now or you're, you can see outside and you can see the sun, a good thing to do is to actually just imagine you are grabbing that sun energy and then just absorbing it into your body. So just slowly gather the energy and then it come into the top of your head. So my imagination is I want to go into my crown chakra and then let it sink and fall slowly and wash through your whole body. So I'm gathering and I look up because when I look up, it helps me to um, focus my awareness to my crown chakra when I look up. And you can feel it. You can feel actually the top of your head when you look up. So breathe in as you gather, as your hands are coming down, breathe out slowly. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you breathe out, as your hands come down, you can just look straight. So I'm, as I get hands go up, I'm looking up, I'm gathering in, and as the hands come down, my, my eyes actually um, start looking straight, a little bit downwards. And just imagine you're underwater and your arms just are weightless. They kind of float. They have substance, but then because you're underwater, they kind of just float and they move very gently. Just imagine your whole body is just floating underwater right now. Everything is quiet. You can feel the water moving across your skin as you move your arm. You can feel the water moving as you drop your hands, fall down slowly. And just like if you're underwater, you can't move your hands too quickly, otherwise you're gonna disturb the water. So just imagine you wanna make as little disturbance as possible in the water while you are in motion. And now you want to listen, use your ears to actually listen to what your senses are saying to you. Listen to the flow of water as your arms are moving through the underwater underwater situation right now. Okay, so now we're gonna gather energy from in front of us, in front of our forehead, breathe in, 
Now you breathe in through your third eye, which is right in the middle of the forehead here. Let the energy go to the middle of your head and then let it fall through your spine or to the center and then let it fall down to your Dantian again. And then let it stay there for a second and then relax and then do it again. Gather energy from in front of you, in front of your forehead, bring it in to your third eye, guide it with your middle finger to your third eye like this, okay? Move it to your middle of your head, let the energy fall to your Dantian, hold it for a second, relax. And Nelson, did you post the webinar link on Facebook so that they can um, join in the live webinar here? So if you're in Facebook right now, if you want to participate in our chat, then click the link to join our Zoom webinar and you can join us live right now and you can participate in the chat so I can, I can talk to you directly and you can talk to me. Bring it to your third eye, to the middle of your head where your pineal gland is, then let the energy sink fall to your dantian, hold it there for a second, then relax. Now when you relax, try not to collapse your body. You still want to be upright. You still want to have proper structure and just relax. So when you relax, you still have a straight spine. Just imagine you're just sinking and sitting onto your own bones. So I'm just sitting onto my own bone structure. All right, the next step is I'm gonna to gather to my Dantian. So use your middle finger again, guide the energy through your belly button into the inside of your body, then let go. And then do it again, gather energy in front of your stomach. Breathe in to the middle, breathe out and let go. Gather energy to the front, guide it to your belly button, go in and then go. And then I'm gonna show you the side view, gather energy from the front, bring it into your belly button, bring it inside your body and then relax. Gather energy from the front. Now just imagine you're still underwater and you're doing this. So you can feel the water on your skin, slowly flowing as you move your body, your hands, your fingers, you can feel it going through your fingers, I mean, between your fingers, going through your hands and your forearm. You can feel it on your elbow, you can feel every little movement of your body because the water moves across your skin. And if you do this, you're gonna feel a very floaty sensation. And you're gonna feel chi energy starting to spread out throughout all your whole body. The more relaxed you are, the freer that the chi energy is gonna flow throughout your body. Wherever there's tension, it becomes a blockage and blocks the flow of energy in your body. So the key in Qigong meditation, one of the first things you must learn to do is to learn how to relax, but at the same time, keep your structure. Keep your spine straight to relax while you're still in motion. So that's why at first, we want to master being able to be relaxed at a, in a static position. And for many people, this might be difficult to just relax in a position that doesn't even move. 
And, but this is one of the first steps if you want to truly learn how to do qigong meditation is to learn how to relax in a static position. Then once you can get that relaxation, get that sensation, then learn to relax while you're in motion, which is a completely different level of relaxation. So now we're gonna do the fourth one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna gather energy. Let's say you scoop up energy from your knee, bring it up like this, up to your solar plexus, up your hands and then just drop. Gather your energy, scoop up the energy from under your knees, bring up to your solar plexus, flip your hands back and drop. Now, when you're gathering up, imagine that there's energy drawing in from your feet. Your feet has a point in the middle, just like your palm, it's called K1. So right in the middle of your feet is the point. And imagine that you're drawing energy when you're scooping under the knees, that energy is going through that part of your, your foot, right in the middle of your foot. And it goes up your ankles, your knees, your thigh, your hip, through your, through your tailbone, through your spine, and then up and then drop it back down. Now, some people, when they do this exercise, they go all the way up to the chest. But then if you do that too much, it actually puts too much pressure on your heart. So we'll just bring it up to your solar plexus, which is around here, and then drop it. Okay, now I want you to do it. Nice big breaths now. So breathe in. And then when you drop, up, drop it, go. Breathe in. Breathe in with a loud ha. Now, this is a really good exercise if you are anxious or worried or stressed out, is to go like this, because this is a sound for your heart, to go ha, ha. It's the same sound we made when we are sitting in the hot tub and we relax, or we just had a long day at work and we just collapse on the couch. This is the sound we make. We go ha. Or we get a nice soothing massage. Naturally, we make that sound with our voices. We go, ha. Ah. So make that sound right now as we're doing this exercise. Ha. Ah. So we're using our body's natural way of de stressing while we're doing this exercise. So now let's go back to our starting position. Stand there, knees bent slightly, still straight and breathe your Dantian breathing meditation. Now focus that energy back to your center. Now that you've activated all that chi in your body, now it's circulating throughout your body. Now just imagine the energy now settling down and gathering back into your sea of chi or your battery in your tummy. Focus your awareness there again. And just feel that part of your body, feel the Dan Tian. All right, now rub your stomach one direction. Massage. Go the other direction. 
Let's your hands, rub your hands together so nice and hot. And then brush your whole face, your head, brush down your, your shoulders, brush down another shoulder, brush down your arm, brush down the arm, brush down the other side of your arm underneath, brush down your, your armpits, lots of lymph nodes under your armpits. So it's good to flush out those toxins. Brush down your chest. Brush down your back with the back of your hands. Okay, brush down your hips, your buttocks. Brush down your thighs, underneath your thighs. Brush down your knees. In your shins and your calves. You don't have to lift it your well, but you don't have to lift your legs, you can do it like like you can bend down and do it, but you can't see me, so I'm just showing you this. Brush your feet. How do you brush your feet? Brush your feet like this. Okay. And then and then stop. Don't wake up your neighbors if they're sleeping. But stomp and then shake. Like you have, um, you got this, your hands are wet and then you're shaking off the water from your hands, stomp. So what that does is it shakes off all the toxins, let it go down into the ground and then become, uh, basically it's the waste product that you have just um, loosened up in your body. So make it go down through your feet into the ground and and uh, disintegrate. So that's the first part, the chi energy activation and centering. Who enjoyed that right now? Raise your hand. Fantastic. So how do you guys feel? Type it in the box. How do you feel right now? And by the way, if you have a chi coil, a great um, frequency to use is the actual chi energy activation frequency on the app and use the chi coil uh, while you do that exercise. If you don't have the chi call, you can use the frequency and just listen to it while we're doing that. So if you're on the chi call app right now, the next part we're going to do the manifestation meditation. And um, come on, okay. And then the next one we're going to do is um, we're going to go to the wisdom consciousness expansion frequency. So go there and then play that one. Wisdom consciousness expansion, okay? And then we're gonna play the all mix. If you don't have the app, that's fine. You can still do this meditation without it. And if you don't have the chico, that's fine. You can still do this meditation without it. David, do you wanna explain where they can get the app? Just go to chicoilapp.com. And that's spelled Q-I is the first word and then coil, C-O-I-L on your app store. Chicoilapp.com, A-P-P. Okay, so whenever I do meditation, I always want to do chi energy activation. So you activate the chi energy, activate your chakras. Then your meditation becomes so much more powerful and so much more effective because now the energy is moving, you're vibrating much higher, your aura is much bigger. So basically, you're like an antenna. If you don't have that energy to push that energy out as a signal, if you want to send a signal to the universe, then it's not going to get anywhere. So first, you want to use your battery activate it, activate that chi energy battery, then let it flow throughout your body. So now your body becomes like a, like a satellite dish. And when you have that activated, now you can send that signal to, your, to the universe and then make a difference. And many people, when they attempt to manifest things in their life, they don't get anywhere because the signal is just, there's no signal. It's too weak. It doesn't go anywhere. So that's why we did the chi energy activation. That's the beginning. And it all ties in together to the prosperity pyramid because this webinar is about how to attract abundance. So we're going to get to that. Um, so let's do this meditation. And you guys heard of the secret, right? Now, in the secret, they talk about how to meditate. And it teaches you how to visualize what you want and visualize where you want to be or who you want to become, or a situation, or an event, or a scene of the future. 
and then just really be there and just feel what it feels like to be there. But then there's one extra step. It's so simple that they don't tell you to do. And I'm going to share with you this very simple step of meditation that goes with the secret that will, that's actually what's missing from the secret. So let's begin. So I just want you to relax and sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes and keep your spine straight as much as possible. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Now, for me, it helps me to hold my hands in that position on my stomach. And how I, how I do it is I like to hold my hands like this. It's a mudra, it's a hand position. Um, whatever you feel, you can hold it like this. You can hold it like this, like what we did. But what I like to do is I, I like to hold it like this, okay? So this helps me to, um, helps me to focus. So you can hold it like that. And I want you to just first be aware of where you are. And then I want you to take some deep, deep breaths. And just slow down your mind for a second. Now we're gonna do the heaven and earth meditation as a setup. So we're gonna imagine there's an energy ball from our Dantian in our tummies. We're gonna send that energy ball and smile, feel. Uh, just imagine yourself in nature in a very beautiful place. And just be there right now. And then just imagine you're sitting there or standing there in the most beautiful place that you can imagine in nature. And then you feel that love for the place, and then make that love into a ball of energy and send that energy down through the ground, through the layers of the earth, down into the core. So you can send it now. And once it gets down deeper and deeper and deeper, you come to a point where you meet the center of the earth. Now you want to feel the love that Mother Nature has for you and say thank you for this beautiful nature that you've created that I can enjoy. Thank you and I love you. And then Mother Earth is gonna say I love you. And then she's gonna send that love into your energy ball and bring that energy ball back through the earth, back into your person, into your body. And then feel that love energy from Mother Earth going throughout your whole body. Now we're going to send energy up through our crown chakra, up into the sky. Imagine the most beautiful place in the sky or in the solar system or in the universe that you can imagine. And then go there right now. You shoot like an energy ball right into that place, traveling faster than the speed of light. And then feel Father sky and all this magnificence and infiniteness. And then say thank you and I love you. And then he's going to say, I love you too. And then he's going to send all that love into your energy ball. And then you're going to bring that energy ball, travel all the way back, back into your body. And then now you can feel Mother Earth and Father Sky's energy. Um, like they're mingling together, rotating like a vortex, spinning together and now becoming one energy ball. And you should be able to feel very happy right now. And you should feel very loved and you should feel very peaceful. And you should feel that you're more complete. You have more joy. You feel more fulfilled because now you're connected with the energy and love of Mother Earth and Father Sky for the whole universe. So just sit in this middle, sit in this, sit in this place for a second. Now what I want you to do 
is to imagine that place where you want to go. What is it that you want to manifest in your life? What is it that you're missing? If you don't know exactly what it is, just, just think of the feeling or feel that feeling that you want to feel. What is it that you want to feel? Is it peacefulness? Is it love? Is it balance? Is it connectedness? Is it love? Is it friendship? Is it success? What is it that you want to feel? Is it stress-free? Pain-free? Is there somewhere you want to be? What does that situation look like to you? Is it something material? Is it a nicer house or apartment? Is it a nicer car? Or is it something that you want? Is it a relationship? Is it to find your soulmate? Find someone that you can share your life with? Is it to find your purpose? Is it to be filled, be fulfilled and to be aligned to what you truly was intended to do? Was it, is it the feeling of knowing what your purpose is? Is it the feeling of knowing that you're going on that path? Is it the exhilaration and the enthusiasm and the curiosity that comes with going on that journey, knowing that you're going to get to where you're intended to be, your purpose in life. Is that, is that what you want to feel? Is that where you want to go? So whatever it is, I want you to imagine that right now in your mind or feel that. Now, as you feel that, imagine you're that place right now. You're in that scene. And I want you to feel and listen to what you, what the sounds are. Listen, open up your ears and listen to what the sounds are. What's the background sound? Are there any sounds that are coming out that stand out more than others? Do you hear somebody's voice? Are there voices? Are there voices or sounds from, from the people or the things around you? What can you see? Look in front of you, in your mind. What do you see in front of you? What's the scene? Now look to the left, in your mind. What do you see? Who is there? Is there no one there? Is, this, is there lots of people there? Is there a specific person or a thing? Now look to your right. What do you see? Now imagine you're looking behind you. What's behind you? Now, imagine, now I want you to use your nose and smell. And smell what you, what is there? What do you smell? What are the smells that you smell right now? What do you taste with your tongue? Can you taste anything? Focus on your tongue right now. What does it taste like? Now, feel everything around you. Feel the sensations on your skin. What does it feel like? To be in that place right now, in that moment or that event. Now, go inside of your emotions, now with all the senses. What do you feel inside? What emotion do you feel? Are you feeling 
the contentment of finally arriving of that, to that place that you've always wanted to be. And you feel proud of all the, that you've been through, of your journey that you took to get there. And you feel accomplished. What are the feelings you're feeling right now? You're feeling exhilarated because you finally made it. What you've imagined and what you have envisioned and meditated in the past has finally become reality. And you're living it in that moment right now. How do you feel? You feel empowered. You feel energized. You feel unstoppable. You feel limitless. You feel that now that I've accomplished this, I can do anything. Nothing is, nothing is impossible for me. All right, so now I want you to feel that. And then this point, I want you to squeeze your thumb and your forefinger together like this. With, okay, just squeeze it together. I'm just squeezing it this together, my thumb and forefinger. And just now encapsulate everything that you feel right now to that thumb and forefinger. Squeeze it now. All your senses now, just imagine all that scene is now gathering inside your body. Just absorb it all. Everything you hear, you see, you smell, you taste, you touch, and your emotion. Encapsulate it into this little ball inside your finger and squeeze it. Okay, now you have it in there and just lock it in place. All right, so what I've done for you right there, what we've done together is we basically did the secret, secret meditation. So now we can go a little bit further. So now that you're there, I want you to go a day before, or let's, let's, go, let's go an hour before. So wherever that situation, that event that, it, that you were imagining, go back in time an hour before that. Just imagine you're going backwards, watching a video play backwards. You see yourself moving backwards. Everything's moving backwards. All the sounds are backwards. And going back in time about an hour. Now, what, what are you doing that hour before that? Now, just imagine yourself an hour before that. Maybe just getting ready to, to do the thing that you, that you imagined or the events, or the people, or the, or the sights and sounds that happened an hour before, before the destination. So that, that part that we close our fingers, we call that the destination, okay? So an hour before the destination. Okay, so have you got it? Do you know that scene? Now let's go backwards in time, rewind that video, go backwards, everything's going backwards, it's faster and faster, and now just imagine what you're doing the day before that, the day before the destination. And then absorb that energy, absorb that vision and just be there and imagine, but observe, observe and, and, and see and record in your mind what's happening a day before the destination. Now I want you to go back a week. So go back faster in time, everything's going backwards. Go back a week. And a week before destination, what, what are you doing? What do you see? What's happening? What events are occurring? What people are you encountering? What events? What things and what are they? steps you need to take and what are you doing? Now continue backwards, keep going backwards and go back a month from your destination. And feel and see if you can get that vision of what you're doing. Now go back a year, what's happening then? 
What are you doing? What are the circumstances? What are the things that you need to do and the steps you need to take a year from destination? What are the sights and sounds? How does it feel? What is the emotion you're going through? Now, if, now, now when, you, when you've got that, I want you to go and now go back, to, or go now to your presence where you are now. So now you're back to your presence, you're sitting there or you're lying down or you're standing and, and you're back here listening to this webinar. How does it feel to be here right now? Okay, so now just, now just look at the journey that you've taken in a bird's eye view. Look at how you traveled into the future to your destination and see that path that you've taken backwards in time and see the points that we've taken and those scenes that we've created in our minds and watch and, and look at the whole picture and see if you notice anything. What do you see and what do you notice about it? What have you learned? What are some of the things that were revealed to you? What are some, some milestones? What are some of the waypoints that you noticed along the way? And once you have that, just come back to your center where you are and whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And whenever you're ready, raise your hand so I know you're back. Okay, welcome back. Now, tell me how you feel and what you've experienced in the last, um, I don't know how, how long that went, but uh, in the last meditation period that we just did, how do you feel? What did you experience? Type it in the chat box. So we got lots of lots of responses. So feel hot and then cooling sensation, uh, more clarity, peaceful and hopeful, relaxed, no sensations, very cooling sensations in my body, feel fresh, get really warm and start to sweat a little, sleepy. All right, that's great. Um, yeah, so that's great. Feel blessed, all located. Complete joy, that's great. Thanks, Rebecca. Speechless, need some fire. More grounded, okay, so there's a lot of positive feedback. So now, why did we, I do that meditation? What happens is with the secret, it's great. You meditate and you imagine yourself in the future, being in that place or having that thing that you always wanted and the analogy they, they give often is the, the dream car that you have. So you sit in your dream car, you can smell the leather, the fresh car scent, you can feel the engine rumbling, you can feel the acceleration pushing you back on the seat when you press on the gas pedal, you can feel the wind blowing you know, by, your, by your face, you can smell the engine or whatever the, the gas or the electric, whatever it is. Uh, you can see the beautiful contours and the color and the stitching and the dashboard um, and the feeling you have. And you can taste, you can taste the exhilaration. You can taste just the excitement of driving that car. You feel proud. You feel, you feel um, energized. And so that's the feeling if you think about your dream car, right? So, so that's the analogy they make. Um, but then a lot of people do that and then they never get that dream car. And I think the reason is because um, you're not actually finding a way to get there. You don't, there's no path, there's no guidance. So the reason we go back is we, it helps you to find out what are the steps you needed to take? What are the events that needed to happen before you got to the destination? 
And this is very important because if you take any journey, there's very important parts in the journey. Just like if you want to go and you want to go on a trip, okay? Every journey requires um, specific things for it to be an actual journey. And um, can, can you tell me what is the things that are necessary in a journey? Okay, this is a trivia. Who can tell me what are the things necessary in a journey? A plan, great. What else do you need? Perseverance, okay. Even more basic. A plan is basic positivity, okay. A start, yes. We need a start. Action, you need a heart. You need a will. You need a will. A destination, a vision, and goals. What else? Steps, that's right. Motivation, first aid kit. Yeah, uh, uh, obstacles to grow. Expectations, okay. So a very simple things that we need in the journey. If you go down to the nitty gritty, the most basic things we need in journey is first we need to know a point of origin. Where do we start? That's a no brainer, right? Then we need to know destination. Where do you want to end up? That's another no brainer. What's next? Then you need to map out a course to go from point of origin to point of destination. Okay, this is, this is nothing science, you know, this is not brain science. This is not rocket, rocket surgery. Okay, so <laughs> um, um, we also would need will. Uh, you guys mentioned positivity will, but we also need energy, right? When we wanna go from here to the grocery store, what do we need? We need energy. If we're gonna walk there, we need energy to walk there. If we're gonna drive there, what do we need? We need energy, we need gas in the car, we need electricity in our car, which leads us to the next thing. We need a vehicle, right, to get there. And what else do we need? We need navigation. What happens if um, there's a roadblock? What do we do? Do we just go turn around and go home? What do we do? We find a way around it, right? We, we chart a different course, okay? So when we, when we take any journey, it could be just to the grocery store or it could be to your life true purpose. Any journey, no matter how big or how small, requires all these things. You need a point of origin, you need a destination, you need some kind of map or some kind of plan to get there, you need energy to get started, to keep you moving, and you need, um, you don't need a vehicle if you don't have to, but actually you need a vehicle because if you're going with your legs, your legs is the vehicle. If you, if you want to get there faster, then you bike, use a bike, or you can skateboard, or you can take the train, or you take a plane, or you can use a spaceship, but we still need a vehicle. And then we also need navigation in case we hit a roadblock or something changed along the way, we need some way of navigating the course depending on what the circumstances are, just the same way as a ship or a boat navigates through the waves and through the ocean, they cannot predict the winds, they cannot predict the ocean and the waves, but what they can do is they can navigate and find the best path and course to from their point of origin to destination. Okay, so we all don't know this. This is very simple. So why do people want to manifest things and they don't, and they're missing a lot of these things? Why do people manifest things and the only thing that they can think of or they meditate on is just a destination. If you just focus on the destination, is that a journey? No, a destination is just the, that's the destination. That's only part of the journey. So when people do the secret meditation, when they, all their focus is just a destination, it's only one out of the six points I gave you. They don't have a point of origin, maybe they do. There's no map, there's no vehicle, there's no energy, there's no navigation, okay? So why do you think this is so important? Because it, it goes for any journey. Any journey you can think of, it needs those six things in order, to, in order to be successful, in order to get to your destination. And that is part of what I teach in the transformation course. So who's here is on the transformation course? We have some students. Uh, if you don't know about it, is transformation course is based on something called the prosperity pyramid. And what the prosperity pyramid is, 
how to build your life, how to design your life so that you can achieve prosperity or manifest things that you want and then attract the abundance that you want. But by going through this process is to have those elements. For example, fuel, you need the energy. Engine, you need some kind of engine that's going to be your vehicle to get you there. You need a direction, you need a plan. You need to clear out the obstacles so that you're not hitting a wall all the time. Who feels like that they are stuck, emotionally stuck, financially stuck, health-wise stuck, relationship stuck? They feel like they're in the, you feel like you're in the same situation you were last week, last month, last year, just like the Friends, Friends theme song, right? How's it go? <laughs> du, 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 du. Your, your job's a joke, you're broke. This is like a... Something I don't remember. Love life. Something about your your love life's wasting away. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't been your month, your week, or even your year, right? So it's like you're stuck in that wherever you are for a year or longer. Who feels that way? Raise your hand. Okay, so here's how to get unstuck. You gotta be able to clear out your obstacles um, and go on this journey before you can achieve prosperity. So that's, that's one way that we do that meditation. And that's one of the meditations we do in the course. So in the course, I'll teach you each level of the pyramid. How do you get energy? How do you get fuel in your life so that you can energize and get the energy you need to move, to start moving and to keep moving? Because many people, they start moving, they get all excited. It's the new year, let's get in shape. And then what happens after January and February comes? They forget to go, well, now we can't go to the gym, right? But you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna teach you step two, how to build your engine, how to build that vehicle, your own personal vehicle, so that you can have, uh, you can get there faster. Just imagine going to um, the next state on foot. How long is that gonna take you? Or by bicycle, now you're a little bit faster, right? Or by car or by plane. So the vehicle that you are able to create for yourself determines how fast you're gonna get there. So I'm gonna show you how to, Tune up your own vehicle so you can get to where you want to go faster without having to use all the effort that you don't actually necessarily need to do. So the next one is to teach you how to find a direction. What is the direction you need to go? Many people, they have a lot of energy, right? And they have a um, pretty good engine. They can get things done. But then they seem like they're going around in circles. They're working so hard, but um, you're not getting anywhere. Okay, so unless you're going in the right direction, you have a proper navigation, you're just gonna go around in circles. So what if I can show you how you can have navigation and direction so that you can get to where you wanna go without taking the detours and hitting roadblocks and being stuck. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to clear out the obstacles. It could be a mental blockage, spiritual blockage, physical blockage, emotional blockage. Many things can be blocking you from achieving your full potential from a manifesting your, uh, the prosperity that you want. So one more thing I want to, here's another important point. Who, who here believes in luck? Say yes, or raise your hand. You believe in luck. Do you think that some people are more lucky than other people? Are successful people more lucky? Well, you can decide for yourself, but based on some Chinese philosophy, there's three kinds of luck. Heaven luck, energetic luck, and human luck. And let me explain to you what those are. So heaven luck is like astrology. The planets are moving and shifting. Stars are shifting. Planets, the moon. You can't, can you control that or not? The day that you're born, other people that you associate with when they're born, okay? Astrology, who believes in astrology, horoscopes and things like that? Okay, if you do, that's fine. But then a lot of times we can't control, we don't control that, do we? We can't control the stars, we can't control the uh, energies of the cosmos and the, and the planets. We can predict them, but we can't control them. Okay, so that's heaven luck. And and that actually does affect our psyche because it's scientifically proven that as the planets are moving around the solar system, 
depending on their location, it actually changes the radio, radio reception quality on planet Earth. So there's some kind of magnetic or some kind of quantum interference from the planets that actually affect frequencies on Earth. And we all know now that frequencies affect our psyche, affect our emotions, affect our behaviors. So you can scientifically say that, yes, astrology actually affects our behavior here on Earth and their experiences. But we can't control it. We can predict it, but we can't control it. So that's the first kind of luck. Second kind of luck is called energetic luck. Who knows why that is? Any, any guesses what energetic luck is? So energetic luck is the flow of energy. We can call it chi, people call it ki, people call it the force, right? Um, or your vibration, that's right. So energetic luck is kind of like um, feng shui, okay? How is the energy flowing in your work environment? How is the energy flowing in, um, inside of you? How is the energy flowing around you and the, and the people they associate with? How's the energy uh, flowing in that situation or in that community? So that's energetic luck. If you hang around a lot of people that have very bad energy or toxic energy, what do you think is gonna happen to you? What's the chances of you getting more lucky? <laughs> Probably pretty low. So energetic luck, it can be energy from other people or energy from an environment. It could be nature. Nature, if you have a, if it's a nice place, has natural positive energy, or even some sacred temples. There's reasons why temples are built in certain places. Like for example, the Chinese um, palace is built on a specific energy power ley line, one of the uh, magnetic energy lines on planet Earth. And if you look at many temples around the Earth, it doesn't have to be Chinese, any culture many like Stonehenge and the pyramids and the, and the, and the um, Mayan temples, um, even some Catholic temples, uh, they're all built on ley lines or magnetic focused energy points on the planet Earth. So that also relates to energetic luck. What physical location are you on planet Earth? Okay, so can we, can we change energetic luck? Is it possible? Yes, we can because we can change the environment where we are. Either we move to another place or we stop hanging around negative people or we start hanging around good people or we change our own energy, right, field. And you can change that by using positive energy fields created by chi coils or by aura coils or by the, the wands that we have, resonant wand. These actually are crystals, yeah, or mantras. So because all these things have vibration. And when you start programming your your environment with positive vibration, then you're actually changing the energy of wherever you are. And that in turn changes your luck. Does this make sense? Okay, so there's one, at least there's one thing. How about human luck? Can we change human luck? What is human luck? What do you think human luck is first? Now, heaven luck, it's outside of us. We can't change it. Energetic luck is also outside of us, but we can change some of it. What's human luck? Human luck, yes, it's things that we control. Human luck is things that we can do ourselves in order to make a difference. For example, um, what are actions you're taking? What are the plans that you have? What vehicle are you using? What is your mindset? How is your mind working to solve problems? What skills are you using as a person to advance yourself or to progress to the next step in your life. So that's human luck. So many people there um, just focus on heaven luck and then they're basically just, just too airy. They're uh, out there all the time, always out there. And they're never down to earth and they never really do anything in life to really make a difference. They say, oh, nothing I'm gonna do here is gonna change my fate. So I might as well do nothing or just do whatever. And what happens then? They just rely on heaven luck. And they say, oh, the planets are this, our planets are this, the stars are this, so it's set in stone and I can't really change my life. Well, that's because you don't, you're not really utilizing your human luck. You're not putting into practice. So there's three kinds of luck. Does it make sense? Heaven luck, energetic luck, human luck. So 
with the Qi coils and with my transformation system, I teach you how to get energetic luck and also how to start using and start to be successful with human luck by doing the skills and by doing the plans and doing the steps that you need to um, enhance your human luck. So now you have all three lucks working for you. You have heaven luck, you have energetic luck and you have human luck. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over quickly what transformation system, a lot of you have this already. Um, you get the Qi coil gold system, both the yin and the yang. You get the bill clip, the, bad, uh, the magnets, the gold therapeutic magnets. And then you get the master frequency collection, all these frequencies, some of them we use today. You get all the meditation and abundance amplifier frequencies. This is $500 value. This is $500 value. So that's already $1,000. You get all five levels of the transformation course, teaching you how to go up the steps on each level of the pyramid. We go in depth each week. So there's five weeks. If you buy today, you get $535 more bonuses. And that's the meditation, Qigong meditation course. You get the immune boost frequency bundle. You get the Coyote Silver immune booster. And we're gonna donate a portion of your um, investment to health pro care providers. So you get all this for free. And, and that's uh, available for all our systems. So you got the cheat calls, you got the cheat call system, cheat call two pro and cheat call two transformation. Or you can get, any, get it for any of our resident one systems, gold, silver, the practitioner systems. Okay. And if you want to get any of that, you can go to chilifestore.com. So, and then I have more to talk about in a second. So let's start with some Q and A now. Who's got a question? Who's got a question about how to manifest? Yes, how to manifest abundance. Okay, so let me summarize what I told you today about how to manifest abundance. You need to have all, you need to have a foundation and you need to build your prosperity pyramid. Let's go back to here. You need to build your prosperity pyramid. In order to reach a destination, you need to have the proper parts of a journey, which are what? You need to have fuel, energy, you need to have a engine or a vehicle, you need to have a direction, and you need to clear out the obstacles, and then you get to your, your destination, all right? So in the course, I teach you how to get each one of these things so you can get to your destination. Steve says, can, I, can you talk about different T energy activation frequencies on the app, which we should use and when? Um, it's, you, can, you can use any of the qi activation frequencies. What I would do is I would listen to them first. If you have a qi coil, um, before you use the qi coil, you can first start listening to the frequencies and then listen to them, to them for about 10 minutes and see how you feel. Write down uh, how you feel. Do you feel like it's annoying? Do you feel like it is actually making you more energetic? Whatever it is. And then after that, the next day, listen to the next frequency and see how you feel. And then learn the frequencies just like you learn a new language. Like you want to be aware of what the results are and then write it down. Because I, I can't really say, okay, this frequency is going to work for you specifically because everybody's different. And that's why we have about 200 frequencies on the app. We have 10,000 frequencies on the on the consoles. So you really have to test and see how it goes. Now, if you can feel the frequencies as you listen to them, you can feel it in your skin, you can feel some kind of vibration, then that means it's activating something. And if at first you feel like it's annoying, I don't want this, this is not working, listen to it for at least three or four minutes. And, and what, you might, what you feel is, what might happen is that um, all of a sudden all that annoyness and all that tension disappears. And when that happens, you know that that frequency is actually what you needed. Okay, it's just like, it's actually removed that blockage because whenever there's a blockage inside yourself, you may feel some pressure or tension as it's pushing out that blockage. But once this blockage is out, then you feel, oh, I feel so much better. It's gone, it's like something just left you. 
Um, so, so you need to be aware of what's happening. John says, I've been using the frequencies from the app and noticed some changes. I can work longer and focus better and sleep better as well. How will the Chico Wan change this? On your website, the Chico says change you 1% daily. So does this mean that listening to the frequencies alone is less than 1% change a day? And does that mean that the one is more than 1% change a day? If using the Chico means it takes 100 days to get from one stage to prosperity pyramid to the next. All right, when I say 1% a day, it's just um, theoretical. It's just to explain to you that we are slowly transforming ourselves over time. And then the more that you use it, and over time, you're gonna have a dramatic transformation over a long period of time. So it's not like, I'm not saying like, actually it's like 1% a day. It could be 5% a day, it could be 0.1% a day. So it really depends. Now your question is, can I transform faster with a wand or a coil well, those are more powerful and the magnetic frequency is stronger. So it may actually help you transform even faster. And actually the first, first tool I use is the wand. Okay, so this is the wand. This is, a, this is, um, this is just a mock-up, but um, it looks like this. And this is a tool I use to heal myself from a chronic disease I had for 10 years. And this is before Qi So So before, before I was using the wand, and this is uh, about, I would say 20 to, 20 to 50 times more powerful than the Qi coil. So this is our gold one. And, and, and after I uh, used the one that I, I said, um, why not create it something smaller that's more affordable for people to start to experience the technology because, because um, the one is, is a, a bigger investment, um, but it's more powerful. So if you want to, Try that out, we have that available on the website. Was the feeling heat sensation a form of resistance and then cooling a sign of accomplishment? Um, it could, the, the heating is the activation of the chi energy. So, so scientifically speaking, I'm not a doctor, this is not medical advice, but um, what's happening is just your blood circulation is, is, um, is moving. You're getting more blood circulated. You're more relaxed or your capillaries, capillaries, your blood capillaries are opening up you're feeling more, um, so, so when that happens, your chi flow is uh, heightened and also the electromagnetic field of your body is actually heightened. So that's the reason you feel the heat. Now, when you're cooling down, that just means you're relaxing, you're settling in and you're, you're focusing, or I mean, you're um, gathering the chi energy back into your dantian. And usually when that happens, you, you start to cool down because once you, it's like you are storing that energy back into your battery when you're cooling. So that's why we did the uh, Qi energy activation in the beginning today. That's what um, you know, gives you that heat. And then when you start to do the meditation, start to uh, focus and your awareness back to your stomach, then you may feel cool because now the Qi energy is now being like stored back into your Dantian. Does that make sense? Rachel says, uh, I have pain and it's hard to stay in a good vibration when in pain. And if sometimes tells me to leave the pain behind, I will scream, okay? Well, hopefully um, this will help you. A lot of people use this for pain. I cannot say that medically that it actually released pain. I cannot say that, but many people use it for pain and are successful with uh, pain management uh, with Chico. So hopefully you can get a Chico or a wand and it will help you with that. Yeah, I know it's, it's difficult, difficult to be in pain every day. I used to be in pain every day and, and it just drains your energy. It's hard to be in a high vibration because you, it's like your bathtub, you're trying to fill a bathtub with water and, the, and, the, and you unplug the hole. So the water is draining as you're filling it with water and then it's like you don't get anywhere. It's very difficult to stay in a high vibration. So um, there's two ways to do that. Either plug the drain so that it stops leaking or fill it with more energy. And I think, I think um, this will definitely help you to, uh, to fill it with more energy, fill your, for yourself with more chi energy. And with pain management, this is actually a pretty good tool. Uh, my mom had serious knee pain. She had a stroke and uh, she still has knee pain, but now she's walking. Um, and yeah, it helped her like the, the same day that she started using it. She'd say, wow, I can walk better and she put it on her knees and like she went from not being able to even stand up 
to standing up and walking. So, so that's what this could do. And that's uh, when I said, I need to get this out to other people. I need to share this message I'm, because it helped me personally so much. It helped my mom, helped my dad, helped my friends. And I say, I got to get this technology out there so that people can experience it, not just as a health tool, but also as a meditation tool, as a tool and a, and a way of life to, you know, to achieve prosperity, achieve abundance. Is there a payment plan? Yes, we have a payment plan. Are you in the United States? If you're in the United States, you can, you can use Klarna and see if you qualify for the financing. If you're not in the United States, we also have a payment plan um, available. And you can just ask about that to our support team. I'm gonna put my, put the contact information here again. So you can go to chieflifestore.com and you can call this number. That's Carmel's number, one 649 2898 one And then she can help you with any financing or any questions. Uh, or you can email us at support at chieflifestore.com. Uh, Nelson, you can, yeah, if you're in the US, you can go to the store and you can go to uh, purchase any system. And then while you're doing the checkout, just go, so you go to Chi Call Systems here or Immune Boost. And then when you check out, just select Klarna. And then it takes a minute and you know if you uh, are approved for our application. So let's say you get one of these systems. Uh, you just go check out and you select Klarna, K-L-A-R-N-A. So don't click this button, it's not working right now, finance now. But when you go add to cart, and then you select the Klarna, you'll, you'll see when you check out and then you'll do the application immediately. You see if you uh, qualify. If you don't qualify, no worries. Um, you can try a different a lesser price system or you can, you can uh, order Am I sharing my screen right now? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, so you go to our, our website, you go to um, G-Call Systems or Immune Boost, and then you click on any one of the systems, and then you click Art to Cart, and then when you check out, just fill in your information and select Klarna, and it'll go through the application right away. If you don't get approved, then just uh, email our support team and we can help you out. Okay, so, um, I said that at the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you something free. So I'm releasing a new set of frequencies called the five element transformation meditation. Ooh, sounds cool, right? So we have, we have water, fire, metal, uh, wood, and earth. So according to Chinese um, Taoist meditation or tra traditional Chinese medicine, there is a color, an element, and a emotion and a sound and a organ that's all interconnected. So I made a frequency that you can get access to right now. I'm gonna send the link to, uh, to the chat box. So um, go there when you have time uh, after this webinar. And what it is, is a meditation frequency for your kidneys and uh, it helps you to overcome fear because last week, one of you, I think, I forgot who it was, said they wanted to have a frequency for fear. So this is it. This is a frequency to overcome fear and a frequency to help you calm. And it is a water element frequency and it actually helps you to boost your kidneys. And then from, one, from every week from now on, I'm gonna be releasing the next, the next transformation uh, meditation. So the next one is fire, red, and for stress and to transmute it into joy. So these are transformation. We're transforming fear into calmness. We're transforming stress to joy. We're transforming anxiety into balance. We're transforming depression into courage. And we're just transforming anger to kindness. So these are uh, new ones, never been seen before. They're releasing on our channel. So today, I'm gonna to send you the link to this one. Make sure you um, watch it and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Instagram, and share it with your email. Tell everybody about it so you can help support this channel so you can keep giving you these free frequency and meditations. And it's nice because in the background you see the water because this is a water element. You actually get to, get to meditate with the visual of water and the color blue. 
which are associated with uh, overcoming fear, getting more calm, and your kidneys. Pretty cool. Okay, so just a couple of announcements. We actually just released a couple of new products, and this is a really good time for you to be um, investing in these if you've been thinking about it. We have the new seven level aura coils that's just released now. Uh, before we had the five level, and that was our most powerful coil. Now we have an even more powerful coil at seven levels. So this is right now the most powerful aura coil. We have it now at the 17 inch, this is 17 inch, and we also have a 24 inch models. So 17 inch and 24 inch models. These are now available and we also reduce the prices. There's a sale on all mantra and aura coils on our website. So you see that one in my background here, I've been using all the time. If you want to experience the energy, if you want to change the energetic luck throughout your whole home and everybody can experience it, now we have these aura coils. So we start from 14 inch, our small version, three levels, and then we move all the way up to our 24 inch, seven levels, okay? So there's different steps in between. The bigger there are, then the bigger space that they are covered. So like for 14 inch, it's good enough for a, um, the small ones here are good enough for a, about a thousand square foot. And then we go up to even uh, up to 6,000 square foot to our biggest coils here, the seven level ones. All right. Uh, if people want to know what's the difference between the mantra and the oral coils. The mantra is our uh, older model, but it's still good. It has the same coverage. It uses the uh, aluminum and wood table. And this one uses a, uh, a carbon composite table. And it also has the aura lights on there. It's really beautiful, if you can see in this video here. So these are on sale. They used to be uh, about 4,000, now it's $1,000 off. This one's uh, the big discount here, it's almost 40% off right now. So if you've been thinking about getting one, um, we have these available. You can buy them on the store directly or you can finance them as well. Okay, so that's the announcement. Um, and also, uh, we ha now have the pra ultimate practitioner system. So now we use the biggest coil, the seven level one, it's got a huge magnetic field because of all the uh, magnetic wiring here. And you also get the gold wand and the console. So that is the new ultimate practitioner system. If you want to get the full experience with our technology, then this is uh, something you can use. Okay, so you have questions. Once again, you can call us at one 649 2898 one 1-888-649-2898. Carmel is uh, available for you taking your calls or someone else to help you with um, any questions or your order or you can email us at support at qlifestore.com, Q-I-L-I-F-E-S-T-O-R-E.com. Okay, some more questions. Uh, what are you looking for for the immune system? You can go to the Immune Boost collection on our website and you can see everything we have for immune. Uh, what do you know if your third eye is open? What do you offer for it on the website? We have a pineal gland activation frequency on the website, you can go there Go to frequencies, go to quantum frequencies, and, um, and you can get the uh, pineal gland activation frequency. I'll show you right now. <clears throat> okay, so you go to frequencies, you go to quantum frequencies, and then if you look down here, there's the pineal gland activation. So this is the third eye at awakening. So you can listen to this, this frequency and um, Sorry, the website's really slow today. Uh, you can watch the video and you can buy this frequency. There's actually how many frequencies here? There are eight frequencies here in this album and you can use those to help you open your third eye. And obviously, and again, you can use any of our technologies, our chi coils, our wands and our coils to help you that, do that as well. Why does it ask for payment information for the free track? Uh, it doesn't ask for payment information. You just fill in your name and your email. You don't have to put in any payment information and you'll get your free track. Okay, I think I missed some questions. I'm gonna go back and see if I missed anything. Q&A, okay, there's a whole bunch here. Um, I do need help and you don't have money right now. Uh, well, we have a lot of free frequencies that you can, you can meditate with. Uh, you don't have to pay any money for that, so so we have them on our channel and then we have it some on our website too. So feel free to use any of those free ones. 
Uh, there's a lot of training I also do free on my YouTube channel, so uh, you don't have to pay any money for that. So that's a good start to, um, for you to start transforming yourself until you have enough money to get one of our systems, and that's what I recommend you to do. Mauricio wants to know, how can I measure the vibration we have? And if David can tell us how to use the app, right? Because I have a lot of options. Um, how do you measure your vibration? There's some biofeedback things that you can buy, but they're pretty expensive. Like you can buy a aura camera that's $1,100. You can buy some biofeedback equipment that could be, um, you know, usually about anywhere from a thousand to $2,000 at least for biofeedback equipment to actually know what your vibration is, like measure it down to a number. But if you want to just know how much your vibration is, you can feel it. You can feel it in your, your, your hands. You can feel whether um, it's vibrating or not, right? You can feel the, the heat or the numbness or the electric pulses. You should be able to feel it in your body. You're welcome. Okay. William wants to know how long do you give a frequency of treat type 2 diabetes and the reason with every other day treatment? Uh, well, we... This is not a medical treatment, so I can't say that you're going to use it for diabetes. But if you're using this um, for any kind of uh, health condition, then I would use it, as my opinion, around two to three times a day, about 20 minutes each. How long can you use the detox frequencies for? The detox frequencies, I recommend using uh, a couple, two to three times a day, same way. You just have to, it depends what system you're using. And it also depends on what your personal experience is. Uh, for example, like the, the wands have a very strong detox effect because they're about, about 50 times stronger than the coils. The coils are, are pretty good too. So if you want to use this for detox, it works. If you want to use this if for detox, it works. So if you have a more powerful detox, then you have to see what your symptoms are. If you're starting to get flu-like symptoms or starting to get dizzy, starting to feel, uh, you know, even some like sweating too much or even diarrhea, then you need to kind of back off a little bit and, and use it less until you, your body can flush out all the toxins. Because when you detox, all the bacteria um, is like released into your bloodstream and you need time for your body to kind of just flush it out before you do more detox. So when you start getting those symptoms, then, you know, just use it don't use it for a day or two until you feel better, then you can use it again, okay? Singing bowls. Yeah, we have singing bowls on our website. You can go to health and go to, um, where is it? She Energy Jewelry. Where is it? Technology. Maybe they're not on our website right now. She Energy Jewelry. Okay, yeah, we have singing bowls on our website. You go to health and go to crystals. And, um, and you can get singing bowls. You can see, I think you mentioned that because you can see a singing bowl in my background there. You see a gold singing bowl here. So this is a gold plated singing bowl. This one's tuned to 51.51, which is um, a very nice frequency to listen to. Very powerful meditation tool. So that's available on our website. We have singing bowls. If you want singing bowls, um, Nelson, can you make sure that we get that singing bowls back up on our site? Okay. Uh, what's next? We got another question. Hope you can teach me how to manifest money to purchase that. Okay. When when you feel energy, how do you focus it? Um, you can focus it with your mind. So uh, I'm, I'm going to say this. You can focus it by intention so like just put your awareness let's say you want to focus that energy like today in the meditation we did the uh, dantian meditation we we're able to absorb all that energy back to your dantian so that's one way of focusing just putting your awareness this there and just visualizing the energy focusing there that's how you focus the energy i did meditation today so what well keep doing the meditation that's what you need to do it's not a it's not a um uh, quick fix. There's no quick way to, to achieve your, there's no instant way of achieving your success or your abundance. This is a process, like a journey. Right now, we don't have like um, portals that 
we can go through and immediately go to another planet. We don't have that technology now. So what do we do? We still have to drive our cars. We still have to take the bus or take the train or take a plane. So the same way you want to get to where you want to go, it's going to be a process, just like a destination, right? You have to take a step at a time, go to milestone to milestone. That's why we did the meditation. So you can figure out what are the steps you need to get or need to take to get to your destination. So the more you do that meditation we did today, the clearer that picture becomes so that you, your, your path and your steps that you need to take are clearer to you and you can recognize it and take action. And once again, you need to take action if you're going to ever get to where you want to go. Just like you want to go to the grocery store, you're very hungry, you want to get food. You're going to stay hungry unless you get out the door or at least pick up the phone and call for delivery, right? You have to take that action to get what you, what you need. So yes, the meditation is, is, is needed so, we, so that we have a plan and we can see the steps, but you still need to take action to do the steps to get to your destination. Okay, so don't expect that you do the meditation once, once today and you're gonna be instantly abundant. It doesn't happen that way, okay? So don't be fooled when people tell you that you're gonna be abundant instantly. It's a process. I don't have money for the course. Can you pay it forward? Um, well, like I said, there's a lot of free stuff on the, there's parts of the course that you can get for free on the, on the website and on the YouTube channel. So for now you can use those and until you have money to buy the rest of the course. Is there any kind of guarantee? Yes, we have a 30 day money back guarantee on all our products. So you can, um, you can try it out and test it out and 30 days you, you can get your money back. I have back pains a lot. What chi course is good for me? I love your videos. Thank you. Uh, back pain. I, there's a there's a back pain uh, chi go meditation I have on YouTube. Just go to my channel, David Wong Meditation Technology, and you can see. Uh, just search for back pain, and there's a there's a um, chi go exercise for you there. Does the newer console have better quality frequencies? Um, newer console has more frequencies, but the quality of the frequencies are all have always been good. And we've also added new frequencies. Yes, they're, they're um, even more of the frequencies that you've always already had with the older console. So the quality is always as good, but we, now we just have a higher quantity of those high quality frequencies. Let's see, is it just an amplifier? No, it's not just an amplifier. It is an emitter, so you, you can use an amplifier with it, but you, can, but you need the emitter, which is the chi coil or the, or the one, in order to project the frequencies into a space or, or onto your body. What power levels do I use on the amplifier? You can just read our quick start guide and it'll tell you. Do the singing bowls do the same thing? The singing bowls are good, um, but what you're hearing is the sound frequency and the sound vibration. Uh, what the chi calls do and the technologies do is we use a electromagnetic vibration. So if you put a magnet close to this, you can feel the magnet vibrating. And we know that um, magnetic frequencies actually affect our consciousness and affect our bodies. Uh, sound frequencies are good, but what happens is sound actually bounces off your skin. It bounces off your, your, uh, your skeletons and it may not be absorbed as profoundly as electromagnetic frequencies. Electromagnetic frequencies, they go straight, straight your, through your body because of magnets, they can go through your body right into your cells. So both are good. Um, but if you're asking me which one's more powerful, I would say um, the chi coils and the, and, the, and the wands are a lot more powerful. Not sure what your tools do. Um, okay, you got it, great. Okay, Ann Sheldon wants to know, is the water one only on YouTube or how can I download onto the app? This one's not on the app right now, it's only on YouTube. Um, so eventually we might put it on the app, but the thing is uh, every time we put something on the app, it takes a lot of effort to program it in. It's not as simple as just uploading. So um, that's why we upload it on YouTube first, let you experience it, it's, app, it's free, and then um, you can share it with your friends and get more people using that. Uh, if you want to use it, if you want to download it, we may have it available for download on the website later, but right now it's only on YouTube. 51.51 is the pyramid frequency. Yes, that's correct. 51.51. That's what we use in uh, some of our pyramid frequencies on the app. And it's also what we have on the singing bowls. 
Isn't that why you should always drink water? Yeah, always drink water whenever you're detoxing. Make sure you drink lots of water. Because you, you're actually literally flushing out the toxins and bacteria from your body. So you have to pee it out. So you can't pee if you don't have water in your body. So drink more water, you pee more, and then you flush out the toxins. Um, are you having this session again? I missed an initial part. Yes, we have this on replay. So once we get this edited, uh, usually the replay comes out on the weekend and then it will be on YouTube or we're gonna send an email out to uh, everybody so they can watch it. Will chi begin to build up over time? So yes, chi always builds. So as like after doing the meditation today and the chi energy activation, you actually built your chi just a little, little bit. Okay, so every time you do the exercise, you build your chi a little bit. It's like stacking sheets of paper on top of each other, a little bit over, a little, little bit every day. So at first, you're stacking sheets of paper and it doesn't look very impressive because it's still just a little stack of paper. But over time, when you do this on a regular basis and you know, over the course of time, then that stack of paper starts to stack really high and as tall as a building. So today you already started building chi. And to make it faster, and that's why I invented the technology, is now you can stack thicker pieces of paper together and it'll be faster using technology. Um, William wants to know, are the frequencies with a seventh harmonic added beneficial? Seventh harmonic. Um, some of them have more than seven harmonics. It just depends on them. There's different variations of the frequencies. Some of them are pulses, some of them are sine waves, some are square waves, some are triangle waves. Some of them are, have multiple harmonics, some have a, a two harmonics. So it really depends on which one. And uh, so some of them do have seven harmonic. Is there a ceiling how much chi you can accumulate? Oh, have you watched Star Wars? Is there a limit to how powerful you can be as a Jedi? <laughs> so there's no limit to how powerful you can be, okay? The, the force is infinite, it's unlimited. So, so um, no, there's no ceiling to how much chi you can have. Uh, so it's faster, not bigger, not amplified, just faster. Um, what are you ask, asking about? What's faster? Yeah, so if you study martial arts and you're familiar with chi, then this is exactly the chi that I'm talking about that, um, that, a, uh, that inspired me to create these technologies because once I started using them, I realized that, hey, this is the same chi that I was experiencing while doing martial arts and doing qigong. I'm actually, and then I figured that, why don't I use this to enhance my Qigong martial arts, and that's exactly what it does and what other people are doing now. Uh, if your question is, the, is this technology help you um, vi uh, vibration increase faster? I would say yes, faster and bigger, because it actually helps you to have a stronger magnetic field, stronger and more powerful personal aura. So it'll help you get there faster and also make it bigger. You wanna try, you're figuring out what a wand does. So the wand is, is, a, is a similar idea as the coils. Um, if you understand the coils, this makes the sound wave into a magnetic energy. Okay, so it turns the sound into magnetic energy. So this is the same thing with the, the wand, but it just does it in an even more powerful way because there's uh, a stronger magnetic um, coiling inside and also there's gems, rubies and sapphires on them, and gems have vibrations. Uh, and, when we, and when we broadcast the electromagnetic frequencies through it, it activates the gems, so you get the vibration from the gems, and you also get the vibration of the tourmaline crystals, there's also crystals inside. Um, so you get the gem activation um, power added to the magnetic frequencies. So that's what the wand does. Very powerful bond. And this one, this one is a uh, prototype. So um, usually there's a wire that comes out. So this actually connects to the amplifier, uh, which you, and it connects to the, to the console. So when you get one of the gold, gold wand system, you get the console and the console 
is this, and it has a 10,000 frequencies on it. You connect this to the amplifier, the amplifier then broadcasts the, the frequencies into the wand, and the wand emits it into the space, into your environment or into your body. And because the wand also has gems, rubies and sapphires and tourmalines, then it actually activates and you get the resonance and the vibration from those gems as well. Does it make sense? Okay, we're over time today. Um, do you have a, uh, so if a meditator is disciplined, what, can one reach the same level in practice? Yes, you can. You don't need any of these technologies um, to meditate, okay? You can still meditate. And if you're serious about practice and you do the training you know, for, for many years and consistently, you will get to a high level of meditation. You'll get really deep in meditation. You don't need these technologies. But the problem is that many people don't have that discipline and many people don't have the time to do the meditation on such a consistent basis. So that's why we have these tools to help people these days to get there faster. It's just like a tool for anything. It helps you to do whatever you want to do better and faster and bigger. Now, if you use discipline and you want and you're consistent with your meditation and you add these tools to it, then you'll be even faster Then your, your, your progress would be just astronomical. Do you have quantum frequency for anti-age? I think all these frequencies are, are for anti-aging because the more you activate the chi, you naturally, your bone density increases and naturally you just feel more uh, invigorated, you feel younger. And your skin is better, like my skin is better whenever I use the product. So I experience the anti-aging whenever I use any of the frequencies. All right, we're way over time today. I guess um, but, uh, we have to go now. So thank you for coming to my Resonant Wave Technology webinar and transformational webinar. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, it's been fun. And uh, make sure for homework that you practice that meditation we did today. Do that Qi energy activation exercise and teach at least one person how to do this meditation from now until next week. Okay, so until next time, Use the force, I mean, use the chi and prosper. See you next week.